So here we are 20 years into this fight and we're at a stalemate. You know, we continue to fight, argue one side versus the other. Everybody's yelling, nobody's listening. We continue to drive, we continue to use and increase our use uh, of hydrocarbons. Uh, we still need natural gas for both power generation and to heat our homes and our offices. Uh, I'm, sur I'm sure many of you have noticed it gets pretty darn cold in this country. We're flying more and more. We're increasing our environmental liabilities because uh, we don't have a, uh, a functioning energy industry at this moment. Foreign capital uh, is a virtual stampede, to use a well-known phrase here in Calgary, is a stampede out of the country. You know, that's not a good thing. And of course, our federal deficits just keep increasing because uh, capital is escaping this country. And again, that's a loss of employment, it's a loss of uh, tax revenue, it's a loss of tax base going forward, both corporate and personal. Uh, you know, we are feeling these things. As a, again, as a passionate Canadian, it really bothers me that five or ten years ago, companies were begging to spend money here in Canada building projects. Begging. They wanted to spend billions and billions of dollars to build world-class infrastructure for the benefit of this country, and we chased them away. Let's, you know, let's put our thinking caps on. Let's start doing things a little differently. So we've shot ourselves in the foot, 20 years of fighting. We're not reducing emissions. You know, the uh, special interest groups aren't winning. The energy industry isn't wor winning. Canada's not winning. So maybe, just maybe, it's time for plan P. Let's do things a little differently.